What's up, Overcomer Nation? It's your boy John, and I'm coming home from San Diego. Just dropped off one of my employees, and uh, it turns out, you know, they're gonna have some riots around the corner from my house. Center called South Coast Plaza. And, you know, my opinion on this whole thing, man, is like I feel like there's a lot of people out there right now that are hurting. You know, obviously, I, I feel what happened first and foremost to George Floyd uh, was a terrible thing. Terrible, terrible thing. I've had my run in with the law and definitely have had some bad experiences in the past. And, you know, we have to remember though that. Not all police officers are assholes. Not all police officers are dicks and people that are going to affect our lives. And so I'm making this video because I have a feeling that there's a lot of you guys right now are probably high in anxiety, maybe quite anxious, you know, because of all these riots and people damaging property and, you know, just a bunch of terrible things going on in our world right now. And, what can you do about it? You know, what can you do about it to stay on top of your game and, you know, to be able, I mean, like, how the fuck in 2020 are you supposed to, like, you know, get alone, like, go to work or run a business or take care of your family when there's a fucking virus right now that's taking over the whole fucking world, okay? On top of that, we got fucking people rioting. And, and poor kids right now, man, like, they, they got no school, they got no goals, they got no, no business, no job, no anything, and it's just, it's just a shame, because I, I know right now, there, there's so many people hurting, and there's so many people that are struggling, and I mean, I, I'm looking around right now, and I got, there's, there's cops all over the place, I mean, there's people walking around with masks, and so how do you deal with it all? Like, how do you get through it, right? I mean, that's that's the question we're all asking ourselves. Is right now during a time of COVID-19 and riots and drugs and homelessness and lostness and just just no signs of hope, right? How do you how do you grow your business? I mean, look at this. I, I have this lady right here. She's trying to ask me for money right now. I mean, I don't know what she wants, but there's so much just terror going on and, and lost souls and it breaks my heart it breaks my heart because i'm a very empathetic compassionate person for people and i want everybody to win i want the world to be healthy i want god to be touching every single one of your hearts i, I it, it breaks my heart to see so many people suffering right now the reason why these riots are going on it's not for george it's not for poor george man that got murdered and you know by that by that cop you know my heart goes out to him and it's really just a bunch of criminals man that that they're they're people that don't have the common good and it's easy to say like oh man you know these guys are just causing trouble and blah 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 but i can say that because i used to be them Back when I was in high school, I was them. I had no purpose. I had no passion. I was addicted to drugs. I went to a juvenile detention center before I was 17 years old. And man, I was lost. I was broken. I had no purpose. And got to be honest with you guys, if, if I was still 17, who knows? I might be running around doing stupid shit like that. But I will tell you this, I wouldn't want to be there. The only reason why I would be there is probably because the group of the people that I was hanging out with would be that group. And those were the type of people that I hung out with. And so these days, the reason why I'm able to avoid stuff like that and not worry about it or think about it is because I'm focused on me. I'm focused on my business. I'm focused on my family, my team. My energy is not going towards that. I have no energy for it. I don't even want to talk about it. I don't want to think about it. I don't want to deal with it. There's so many people right now that are dealing with this and you want to know how you deal 
with these uncertain times and all of this chaos and drama and dramacism and the cynicism and all the terror that's going on in our planet right now is you don't ignore it. You just don't fuck with it. You avoid it. You educate yourself so you can make educated decisions, but you need to have a purpose. You need to wake up every day and have something to drive towards. Why do I know this? Because I was those kids. I was the criminal. I was the one breaking into stores, breaking into houses. I was a bad kid. I was addicted to drugs. Juvenile detention center before I was 17. I did seven months in jail because I was a drug addict. I was an idiot. I, I couldn't, I didn't have my, my brain on straight. And the reason why I became a drug addict is because of my upbringing. My upbringing was not the best, but it doesn't mean that it was terrible. I was very blessed for the things that I have. See, look at this. There's people getting popped left and right, cars full of people. It's just, guys, you need purpose, okay? Get purpose in your life. This will get you on the right path. You will. You need to make your life so busy with agendas, priorities, hobbies, business, career, family, that you have no time to think about rioting or protesting or doing anything like that. Say a prayer for Mr. George and move on. If you want your voice to be heard because you you are like, fuck man, you know, police brutality, Black Lives Matter, go out and peacefully protest and let your voice be heard. Or better yet, start a platform on the internet your voice is not going to be heard as much as you doing this with the phone and you making a channel and you educating your brothers and your sisters and letting them know, hey, look, man, black lives matter, brown lives matter. But really, is it about black lives? No, it's about all lives. It's about yellow, black, brown, orange, green. It doesn't matter. Okay. And so right now, how do you stay focused through the, all the fucking chaos? How do you break through the noise and, and, and be like me that was able to break through the chains of addiction, break through the chains of juvenile detention centers, break through all the bullshit. You need purpose, my friend. That is it. Once you have purpose, once you have that higher purpose that is bigger than yourself and you have a higher power that is greater than you, that you know you are not the almighty, that you are, you know, John is not the almighty. I am not the best thing in the world. I am not the top of the food chain. I am not incredible. I am a great person, but it's because of him. He is the one that has given me everything that I have. He is the one that has watched over me. He is the only one that can bring me salvation, that can give me success, that can give me the life that I want, the life that I desire, the life that I'm striving for every single day. And if you want to get away from the chaos, you want to stop listening to the news and every time you hear it, you get scared, you get fearful, you have regret, you want to join it, it's because you just want to be a part of something. You want to be a part of a movement. And right now, going out and protesting sounds like a pretty damn good idea. You want to know why? It's like me when I thought drugs was a good idea. It's because I had nothing better to do and I wanted to block out my life. I was not happy with my life. I was not happy with my with myself. I did not love myself. I was not happy with myself as a person. And so I wanted to try a little drug that could potentially get rid of all the thoughts, all the anger, all the frustration, all the things that I was not. I figured, you know what? I got nothing better to do. Let's try this. Maybe it'll make me a little bit cooler today. See, right now, that's what you're looking for if you want to join a protest. If you are consumed by it, if you are doing nothing but watching it, it's because you are consumed by it. And it's because you have nothing greater in your life, unfortunately. I'm the one to tell you I'm sorry. But you, if you listen to me right now, this could potentially change your life. Is if you can figure out a way to get purpose again. Find something that means something to you, something you can build, something you can work towards. I have never gotten in trouble working a day in my life. Every day that I work hard, I am not getting in trouble. 
Every day I am putting it towards the gym or my job or my business or my girl or my family. Nothing bad comes of it. And I have this feeling of confidence and security. And, and that is what I've always wanted the most is security. And I have that now. And it's because I have shown up every day and I've worked towards my goals and I do my purpose. And my purpose on this planet right now is to work hard, build a business, help my teammates and build a team and create opportunities for them in a career that they can grow and they can be somebody incredible one day themselves. People that were just like me that were struggling, I'm giving them jobs now and they are becoming leaders in my business. They are becoming role models in my business. They are becoming members of society because of my business. And if you're a service contractor, it's hard to see the bigger picture sometimes. It's hard to see why am I in the service business? Why am I showing up and doing this every day? Sometimes I don't even like working with my hands. Sometimes I hate even getting dirty. But you know what? At the end of the day, when you get to write a bunch of checks for a team and you work with the team and you see their faces light up and you see that they're they're excited and you see that their lives are getting better, you see that they're getting their own places, you see that they're getting in relationships, you see that they are getting healthier, that they're eating better, that they have better vehicles, better clothes, man, it is incredible to watch people just grow and become better people because of you, because of something you've done. And see, that's my purpose on this planet. My purpose is to help people. My purpose is to help myself first and foremost, have a purpose for myself, but then to help others have their purpose. And so right now, if you want to have purpose, if you're in your service business right now and it's just not working out because of COVID, whatever the case may be, you can always click the link below. We're going to attach the description. If you want to talk, you want to schedule a call, we can talk about you working with me and Overcomer Academy with getting into large commercial contracts for your service business. If that doesn't float your boat, no problem. Okay. Just listen to this video, watch it again. Okay. Because this video could be the game changer that you are looking for. And maybe you were starting to wander off. Maybe you were paying attention to the news. Maybe you were watching every riot. Maybe you were watching every little thing that was going on with the news, with COVID, with Trump, with riots, with cars getting flipped over. And the reason why you're paying attention to that is because your purpose is lacking and you need to get back on top of your game. You need to get your business going again. You've been off for two months, my friend. It's been too long. We need to get you going again. We need you to start working on your business again. We need you to start growing that team that you've always wanted to build. We need to get you out of the field so you can get in the office and you can focus on the sales and taking project managers and chief engineers out to lunch and having a good time and growing that passion back into your life. So one day you could build a family if that's what you want or if you already have a family, you can start preparing for vacations or whatever, okay? You need that purpose again. Anyways, click the link below if you want to talk, if you maybe want to schedule a call so we can talk about how I can help you bring that passion back, bring that purpose back in your life with large commercial contracts for your service business. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching, man. Watching this video, watch, leave a comment or go ahead and subscribe if you haven't yet. Let me know what you think about this video, okay? This came from the heart. I hope you felt it. This was something that was on my mind. I just couldn't take it anymore. I had to just throw it out there and express how I felt about all of this.